Hey, it's Dave from uh, Drone Rafts here. One of the questions that we've been receiving a lot is how does our product, when fitted on a Phantom 3 or a Phantom 4, handle in the wind? So we're out here today on what you can see is a relatively windy day. We're getting gusts up to about 27 knots and we're going to do some back-to-back -back flying with the Phantom 3 and with the Phantom 4, both with and without water strider attached. So we're flying the Phantom 4 here, and I've got to say, I'm really impressed. We purposely waited until a really windy day to make this video, and I was a little concerned it might be too windy. But the Phantom 4 has tons of power, and the control system stability is really very good. It's much better than the Phantom 3, which you'll see a little later in the video. When Water Strider is installed, the aircraft is a little more susceptible to gusts of wind due to the increased cross-sectional area. Still, we didn't have any problems controlling the aircraft and doing basic maneuvers in some really windy conditions. At least in Indiana, where we're from, gusts of 27 knots, roughly 31 miles per hour, is pretty far from a typical day. Also, don't forget that installation and removal takes less than one minute, so it's easy to use when you want and take it off when you don't. We've included some footage from the Phantom 4's point of view while Water Strider is installed, and as you can see it's rock solid. Hopefully this will alleviate any concerns that having Water Strider installed would hurt the quality of your video, which is often the whole point of flying. A quick note on the condition Water Strider helps address. The grass, while not that tall, was too much for the stock Phantom 4 and caused a gimbal overload. That's not an issue with Water Strider installed. We're now looking at the Phantom 3 without Water Strider installed. As you can see, it doesn't perform nearly as well as the Phantom 4. Basic maneuvers like staying in place while rotating result in a lot of instability and uncommanded movement. Even just maneuvering from side to side results in the Phantom 3 being pretty far downwind. We still love the Phantom 3, and we think it's a great piece of technology and an incredible value. But even without water strider attached, we can see a lot of people getting their drones in trouble in high wind conditions if they aren't in really large open spaces, or if they're not really good pilots. When we install water strider with the Phantom 3, we think the strong winds are just too much for it. Quick rotation results in some pretty hairy conditions the kind of response to seen earlier being magnified. We recommend users do not use the Phantom 3 with Water Strider in these conditions. We think a lower limit, like gusts up to 20 miles per hour or 17 knots, is probably more appropriate. You may be happy to know that the video coming off the Phantom 3, even in these conditions, is really good. The floats occasionally enter the camera's field of view, but it's usually only momentary during a gust of wind or a particularly aggressive maneuver. As always, you should be extra careful when flying in windy conditions. Conditions can change fast, and drones are expensive. So be careful, and happy flying!